it's not like I, I I'm born into the LCMS and I just always have been, and I, I I'm here because it's my parents' church body. Uh, quite the opposite. I think if I had not been convinced to be a Lutheran in the in the seminary theologically, I would not be here. Not not a chance. Uh, I am only here <laughs> for that. Uh, we don't have uh, many other reasons as a culture, the LCMS, to exist. And I, this is part of my problem, right? Uh, we can't seem to distinguish the two. So, so I'm asking this question as I drive, that you know, military culture has these habits of engagement, meaning like how you treat each other, uh, you know, what you're allowed to do and not do in terms of questioning authority. Uh, and it's not, it's not like this written thing, but there's a, there's a code. There's a code of behavior, a code of the culture. And uh, I mean, it's not about the style of the music they listen to on the bass. I mean, that's just not even in the conversation. Uh, and I found what he said, and it's been a week since I listened, but I thought it was really, really interesting because it got me questioning, so what is it that holds Missouri Synod Congregation so tightly together? Because it's not our doctrine. There are those of us who are here who are here for our doctrine. That is true, but that is not what is holding the church body together. And I'm sorry to, to burst the beans on you for that one, or for you on that one. It's, but it's just, if you get inside the system at all, and I'm not talking about any particular buildings or uh, any particular districts, I'm talking about the whole system. And you can see it even at the every, not every, I don't know if I can say every, 90%, 80% of the congregations at the congregational level, the system is not there to preserve word and sacrament ministry. That's not what it does on purpose. No one talks about that. Yeah? Uh, not, not when they're making the hard decisions. Uh, it's not in the system that we have to talk about that when making the hard decisions. And I'll, I mean, I'll say right now, I mean, I, I serve a marvelous congregation, I think, uh, in, in Rockford, St. Paul, and we're making really strong, strong steps toward being a congregation that's intentionally devoted to word and sacrament. But when we get together for our meetings, I mean, it's, it's not like that's the main thing, you know? <laughs> uh, and, and we're having to work toward making it that and asking these questions. How do we make it that? How do we make it more than just about being a club?